Hey guys, it's Bucket. I wanted to do a quick video on the uh, new MSI Radiant RX 460. It is a low profile graphics card, um, you know, very powerful for its price at $90 on Amazon. Um, the reason I wanted to order it was because I had read a couple of reviews that uh, stated that the low profile bracket um, blocked the HEMI port. And I, th I thought that was interesting because MSI is usually very careful to make sure things like that don't happen um, and according to one of the reviewers who gave it a, a three, three out of five star review saying it was an otherwise excellent card if it weren't for the blocked HDMI port said that MSI knew that the bracket was the wrong size and that they were going to fix it so um, we'll see if that fix has been incorporated and you can see it here um, as you can tell I've already opened it and um, you know, just to show you, you can see how far out of a line that is. There's no way to pull that into alignment. That's as far over as it'll go. The lighting might not be the best, and the angle is probably not the best, but you can tell that on this edge, the bracket overlaps the port, and it makes it impossible to plug in an HDMI cord without modifying the bracket. An HDMI cord here, I cannot plug it into this card. It just won't go. So, MSI kind of disappointed on this one, especially if you take uh, the upper end of the low profile competition. This is also an MSI card. It's a 1050 Ti. Um, it's got four gigs of RAM instead of two. It's got the same dual fan setup. The heat sink's a little different. The card itself is a little longer. Um, it's got a little bit of a bigger footprint, footprint, but you get a lot more power uh, for graphics with this card than with this card. This is still a very good card for the price. It's, it blows what would have been its closest competition, the GT730, out of the water. Although with the GT730, you can get the DDR5 memory and a single slot width on the inside of the case. This card's pretty close to two inches thick. It's got a single slot bracket, which is basically pointless because the card itself is double width at pretty much the exact same width. The 1050 Ti has a double bracket and that allowed for one more display out. Um, so basically it wasn't trying to be something that it's not like this card. Um, but I, I have a lot of respect for AMD. Um, I run an RX 470. Um, you know, wanting to get an RX 480, they're almost always sold out. Uh, the 580s are out now. Those are really good cards, especially for the price. The, the price for this low profile graphics card is undeniable, but you have to adjust that bracket. Um, you have to file it over or, or somehow um, open that hole a little more to the side to get your HDMI to plug in. And um, that's a pretty big inconvenience. Uh, I can understand docking points on the review for it. But I can't wait to modify it, hook it up, and uh, you see how it performs, run some gaming on it. I, I like to play Skyrim. That's a pretty good test game. Uh, you know, play some of, some of the Steam games on there. See how well it performs. Maybe run some benchmarks. Uh, maybe share some of that with you at a later date. But for now, I just wanted to show you the card, um, what it looks like, about the size, you know, the specs and uh, the issue that everybody's having that turned out to be a legitimate issue uh, that apparently has not been fixed, corrected as of this date. Uh, so there you have it, 2 gigabyte Radeon RX 460, a DDR5 memory, entry level graphics uh, with actual 1080p performance, um, afterburner support, dual fans, 60 watt power draw, that's incredibly low. 14 uh, nanomicron um, manufacturing process, also very low. Uh, you know, optimized for DirectX 12. It's a great little card, um, but with one glaring flaw that turned out to be true. So, um, you know, it's, I would say go for it if you were looking for a good graphics card for a low profile machine for under $100. It's going to be your best option, but you are going to probably have to modify that bracket unless MSI fixes it by the date that you purchase it. Thanks for watching.
That's it.